G'day guys, Blake here with another video and uh, today we're going to talk about ticking time bombs when it comes to aquariums. If you keep lots of tanks like I do, or even if you keep one tank but it's in a carpeted area of the house or somewhere that if a disaster did happen it would cause a real issue, then you'll know that there are quite a few anxiety inducing ticking time bombs when it comes to fish tanks. The first one I think we all know is nitrates, which can silently creep up and creep up if you're not monitoring your aquarium conditions and cause issues down the line. The second one is probably the most fear inducing and that is failure of silicon, which I've had recently and uh, I did a video all about how to fix a leak in aquarium. But the third one is a uh, heater failure. When you're talking about, you know, a, a metal coil that's gonna have current running through it to heat up and it's surrounded by glass, it kind of makes sense that they could fail. So in the best case scenario of heater failure, you're gonna have a heater that's just not gonna turn on. But in the worst case, you're gonna have one that's gonna stick on and essentially boil your tank. So for me, I've actually used these Inkbird controllers. This is an Inkbird 306TA, which um, I've actually got about three of these, and I've been using them for years and years, especially when I keep things like discus, or if I have some expensive fish that, you know, I, I believe are a bit more of a risk if I, you know, had something go wrong. So being an existing advocate of Inkbird, I was thrilled when Inkbird reached out to me uh, recently and offered me a discount code to provide to you all if you wish to purchase Inkbird products of your own. So this is something that I've recommended for a long, long time. So it seems to me to be the perfect match. So um, here down below, there'll be a discount code. Um, I'll do a link in the description and there'll be all the details on that um, in those parts of the video. So if you've got a couple of fish tanks that you wanna add some layers of protection to in regards to heater failure, what I would recommend is this. This is the Inkbird 306TA. This is what's known as the temperature controller. And basically it sits between the heater and the power supply. And it's just sort of an, a more upgraded, beefier thermostat that is typically what goes wrong when you're facing a heater failure. So what this has is a interface that is Wi-Fi capable. Some of these models don't have that Wi-Fi capability, but um, the links that I'll provide will and i would recommend getting the wi-fi capability because it's far far easier to set up uh, using your phone and the app comes with a power board for two adapters now this is obviously australian plugs if you are international you'll see different plugs on yours but i like it as well that there's two available you can plug heaters into both of these and what it allows you to do is use two smaller heaters rather than one large heater so again it's just really sort of easing that burden between heaters. And uh, yeah, I, I just like that. It's sort of an added bonus in that respect. It comes with two silicon covered uh, temperature probes. These are what is gonna feed the, um, the sort of uh, real time temperature of your aquarium into the actual controller. And I'd recommend placing them at either end of the tank so that you can get a reliable measure. And then you have the controller itself. So typically what you'll see here is two things displayed. One is gonna be the set temperature and one is gonna be the current temperature. So it's just a really great live feedback. It's lit up in red LEDs. So it's really clear to see, even if you have this sort of hidden away against the wall or, or whatever you wish. And then of course we have the AC uh, power point here. So again, this one's an Australian one, but whatever country you get will be what yours looks like. So that's the 306TA. Um, the app is really, really easy to use and really clear. I don't think we really need to spend much time running through that, but um, there's a QR code on the back of the controller as well, which can easily access all the information that you'll ever need. So that's what I really like. It's kind of effortless, pretty simple. And once you have it going, it just gives that peace of mind. You can get notif notifications directly to your phone and control things so long as you are on the internet. So um, for disasters like that, you're not getting home and realizing you've got boiling water and uh, stinky fish soup. Um, so that's really good. However, if you do keep saltwater aquariums, if you keep things like axolotls or other things that require a heater and a chiller, 
This isn't really going to help you too much because although you protect yourself from heater failure, what happens if it's a really hot day and the temperature naturally is getting higher than the aquarium temperature that you wish to keep? Well, that's where this comes in. This is the ITC 308. So the ITC 308, now this is the Wi-Fi version again. So uh, it has the QR code and everything on the back. Now this is interesting because the two power source on this one has one clearly labeled for cooling and one clearly labeled for heating. And that's because you plug your chiller or maybe a, U a fan or USB fans into one side and you plug the heater into the other. So I think that's a really great idea as well, especially if you live in climates that uh, experience large swings in temperature, like I do living in uh, Victoria, Australia, when sort of colloquially known to have every weather pattern every day. So um, something like this might be really great for you. The downside uh, when comparing this one to the 306 is that it comes with a silicon probe as well, but only one. So you really have to put it in an area of the aquarium that um, is gonna be quite central or that is gonna experience a lot of the mixture of water in the tank. Again, interfacing really, really easy with these and the app is perfect. Always recommend using the Wi-Fi versions because the manual versions, um, they're just not quite as intuitive to set up. So if you're a little bit technology, technologically challenged, a bit like how I'm English challenged, uh, this guy with the Wi-Fi capability might be the one for you. So I've shown you these two Inkberg controllers now and you're probably saying to me, but I have 50 aquariums, I have 100 aquariums, how much is this going to cost me? And they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but if you do think about the cost of heaters, well, they cost about 60 Australian dollars each. So it's not ridiculous, but if you do have a lot of aquariums, then you probably think that one of these two won't be able to go onto every single aquarium that you have. And that's where the third Inkbird uh, product comes into play. Now in a recent video, I did a comparison of all the temperature monitoring equipment that I owned. And one of them that I showed was a infrared heat gun. Now, the thing about infrared heat guns is if you do have a really deep aquarium, then it's gonna have varying temperatures as you get deeper and deeper generally it gets cooler and cooler uh, the lower you go. So an infrared gun like this isn't great for really deep aquariums, but if you have small aquariums, shrimp tanks and things like that, it would make sense not to put a temperature controller on something like that. And that's where something like this incorporated into your feeding schedule and just the simple pull of a trigger will give you an instant temperature readout of what the tank is. And I think that's really just a super quick way to just go, zap 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 and know that all of your tanks are at the right temperature you haven't accidentally had a heater stick off or it's not creeping up creeping up like it would if you had a small heater stick on something like this can just be a really great double checking method to just um, you know spot check and because it's so instant and it's so small you can sl slip it in your pocket as you're walking around feeding you know i just really think that infrared guns like this are just perfect to have, especially if you're running a fish room. This one in particular runs about $30. So just perfect tool to have, add it to the arsenal. And you're not gonna have to stand there by uh, one of the floating um, glass thermometers, or you don't have to fish it out of the duckweed or anything like that. Um, something like this, I think is really great. So I've also added this to sort of my list of things that I've asked for discounts for you guys on. So there you go guys, hopefully you like this video and hopefully it's encouraged you to um, at least pick up a couple of Inkbird temperature controllers to try out for yourself. If you haven't experienced catastrophic heater failure yet, then cross your fingers and it's probably a perfect time to cover that base uh, because it is absolutely devastating when it happens. As I mentioned, uh, even before Inkbird reached out to me, I was using their products anyway, and the same source that I'm gonna link below is the source where I got mine from. So it was just an easy decision to uh, try and bring a discount to you guys at the very least. So you go guys, hopefully you liked the video. If it has helped you, then it certainly helps me to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.